Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill rack daily challenge using Python programming language. First, we will understand our question. We have to accept the n integers and the integer p and q from the user as our input. Then for each integer x among the n integers, the program must print the operator based on the following conditions. So our first condition is if p divided by q is equal to equal to x, then we have to print the division operator. Then if p multiplied by q is equal to equal to x, then we have to print asterisk. Then if p plus q is equal to equal to x, then we have to print the plus operator. Then if p minus q is equal to equal to x, we have, then we have to print minus. So if no condition satisfies, we have to print ash. So they have also given a note that the order of precedence is division, multiplication, addition and subtraction. Then 3 by 2 is considered as 1 according to the flow division. Now we will consider our first test case. So we have 6 integers. Our p is 10 and q is 5. Our output will be like so what operation should be done to p and q to get 2 as our result? So 10 divided by 5 is 2, right? So first we'll have the division operator. Then we have 50. So 10 multiplied by 5 is 50. So we will have asterisk. Then we have 7. No operation can be done to 10 p and q in order to get 7 as a result. So we will print hash. Then we have 5. 10 minus 5 is 5. So we will print minus. Then we have 1. We cannot bring 1 as a result for any operation. So we print hash. Then we have 15. 10 plus 5 is 15. So we will print plus. So this will be our output. Let us implement our program. First, we'll get the number of integers, then the num list using list function. Then we'll get p and q. After that, we'll run the for loop for num in num list. Initially, we will assign operator is equal to hash. So if p and q doesn't satisfy any conditions, we will have ash. So our conditions are if p divided by q is equal to equal to num, then the operator is equal to the division operator. Then we must follow the order of precedence for each operator. So after division, it is multiplication, addition, and subtraction. So we'll change the operators accordingly. So now at last we'll print the operator and use the end argument. So let us execute our program with our test case. So we have got the correct output. Now consider our another test case. Here we have got the correct output. Next, our third test case. So here also we have got the correct output. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.